Hello everybody, this is Bait. I'm sitting here in my house with my little Isabella right here. Is that right, Belly? She's playing with just some stuff on the back of the sofa. Aren't you? You want to say hi? Belly, you want to say hi? Yes. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Yeah, you like the camera, don't you? I want to do this, huh? Yeah, you go do that. Oh, mommy's got it. There you go. Isn't she adorable? Oh, it fell down here. It's mommy's new bag, her new hiking bag, yeah? As you can see, it's lovely, isn't it? Canvas and leather from Frost River. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Oh, let's open it up. Oh, look at all these straps. Got some pockets right here there. Inside, nice uh, straps on the side too so that you can get bigger stuff in the sides. Top. And of course the straps. There. There you go, hon. Play with that. And I have a whole bunch of stuff here at the table. With the nook sitting here. Hey, the nook. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to the people out there? Hi. Let's see daddy come back. Whole bunch of stuff here, including my coffee that I'm going to be putting in this baby. Getting ready. Oh, this Sage came in the house. Sage, wanna say hi? <laughs> nah, she is busy. She's busy, isn't she? Isn't she, Billy? Yeah, she's busy. You play with your stuff. So, let's take a look at some of the stuff here that's going to be going into my bag. Uh, starting with some fire starter stuff. So right here, um, can you open that up for me? So this is some fire starter. And this here also. And this is my flint and steel. Here's my flint. Nice piece. Here's my steel. Took us quite a while to find this actually. So I'm very happy that we got that now. You can put that back in there. Thank you. And that's my husband. <laughs> and I also got some more fire starter right here. As you can see, just some dry lint, and little sticks, and some other stuff. That's good for fire starter. So I got those, also. Just some normal matches, everyday matches. A lighter. In the hair bag, I have some more fire starter. As you can see, just really thin pieces of wood. You can see how thin it is. So that's good. Oh hey, you wanna come help us? Hmm? You wanna help us? And uh let's see, what else do I have here? I have this little thing. That's nice and waterproof. Hey, Hans. What are you doing? I'm trying to get things that's not for you. And inside, I have stormproof matches. And one of those things that you strike the matches on. I don't know exactly what they're called. Match striker. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. They says leave that alone. Don't you, Daddy? Okay, so we're going to be putting this in the bag first. Hey, hon, you get back up there and play with your dear crazy toys. Come on, look. Yes. So, we're going to put this here away. Uh, open this up. And we're going to put it in this here pocket. First, I'm going to put this stuff in this bag here. I 
although I should really pull the, the lighter in the bag too, just for safekeeping. Great. Got that nice and tight. Hello, Sage. And put this in here. Want my foot seal and the rest of my fire starting supplies. Okay, excellent. Well, that's one thing then. Next, I also have sardines. Sardines are really good for when you're out camping and you're like, oh, need a snack, or if, even if you're lost and you're like, well, you know, I'm getting kind of hungry. Night is coming. I don't got time to forage for food. I grab a can of sardines. This is keep you for uh, the first night until you be able to locate something. And just some suckers because sometimes people's blood sugar gets low. I also have salt. Sometimes your body just needs salt and it's not just for consumption, you know. With certain things and bit salt, you can stop fires and do a lot of other things. So, I like to keep some salt on me. Uh, there's not anyone out there in the world that likes to keep it on them, but I do. I also have another fire starter and a fair wad. Really nice one, as you can see. And that's going to be going in here, too. Just almost forgot about it. So, let's put this in the set aside, shall we? Hey now, sweetheart. That's not for you. Look at you. Aren't you a little monster? Yeah, that's mommy's finger. Get up there. Get up there. And salt. I can go in there. My suckers. I'll also be throwing this candle in there. Just the typical candle beeswax. I really enjoy beeswax candles. So that's going to be going in there with the food. Also in there will be not belly but this compass. Compasses are great. <laughs> you can't get in there, hon. You just can't. You can't. You can't. You can't fit in there. Come on. Go play with your own toys. And can opener. can opener. I don't know why I couldn't remember what this was called. <laughs> can opener, of course. Opens cans. That's what it does. Um, some flagging tape. Uh, flagging tape. That's going to be going down in there. And what else did I want to put in there? Um, my switch saw me lot knife and my hand lens. Uh, yeah, let me open that up, give you a little look. See, no, you can look at some rocks. <laughs> That's mainly what I use it for, anyways. <laughs> yeah, because there is gold around this area, <laughs> and I just want to be ready to find that gold if I come across that gold. <laughs> And I think that's all I'm going to put in this for now. And I'll just slip that in here for now. There you go. Now, there's some other things that I also have. Toilet paper. <laughs> I like to have toilet paper on me. You know, this some things in the woods that you can use but I still like to keep some on me. So I'm going to just push that down to the bottom here. Oh, you want me to open these? Okay. It's not looking like I got things that are too big now. But if it makes you feel better. I also got some cheesecloth. Now this is Remington's um, cheesecloth for when you're game hunting and you have to wrap up your meat. So that's what I have right here. It's clean, you know, keeps your meat clean from 
dirt and insects and other things and this is for the lodge so it will fit a moose in here <laughs> when you cut into your curlers honey now that's not for you okay let's put you down there that's better what did where did your toy go sweetheart I have no clue where you put it <laughs> I don't see it at all no wonder why you're bothering us so much huh yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some wool pair. Um, I have a lot more than this, but this is just uh, a bit of it, so that doesn't weigh me down too much. So that's going in there. Now this is my. Oh, hey. What did mommy say? My handmade uh, first aid kit. Now I do have first aid kits, but you know this is just one that I threw together with some things. I got an emergency blanket in there. Uh, um, compresses, uh, bandages, different types of bandages, uh, water purification, and so on. And more bandages, band-aids, wipes, little pair of scissors, and there's one, there's one more important thing in here. Hmm. No, I guess not. So I'm gonna put this back in here. There we go. From this era, the cat's going crazy. And you can go in there also. You can go to this side. Now here I have a central kit here. So it has gloves. Uh, gloves that comes all the way up your arm. And a smaller pair of gloves for when you're dealing with your meat and other things. In this bag I have open it. Waste stone for sharpening your knives and anything else. And this is a uh, diamond and ceramic. And also I think I'm going to stick in this bag some snare wire okay there you go I have some um, hot hands toe warmers and hand warmers here just for worst case scenario can't get a fire starter or something you know or just your outside super long and you don't want to stop to build a fire. Just take out one of these babies. That could be long for a couple hours. I have this here multi purpose soap. It's uh, organic, Echo Trail. It's really good. It has citronella in it also, so that helps keep some of the mosquitoes and other flying insects away from you. And I got these zip ties. They come in handy for a whole bunch of different reasons. Uh, too many for me to actually sit here and name them all. Always have a knife on hand whenever you're out in the woods, you know. Hand is a multi-useful tool. And you can use it for skinning, um, cutting rope, cutting trees, making uh, simple wooden tools and other things and just sit back and carving something it really comes in handy and here's uh, just a recent addition to my backpack a nice bowl now I like cast iron but when you want to travel light these uh, come in really handy 
as you can see, pull this baby up, pull this up, and you got yourself a nice bowl there. Just throw it right on the fire. And obviously, you can purify water in there. This is actually an air piece for my um, walkie talkie that I am charging right now so it's not out here so I'm just going to lay this on the table for now and this is my GPS um, when you're going super far off the trail that you're used to GPS comes in handy you know you just make sure you save your coordinates in this thing then you're off can't find your way back you just turn it on so I always keep it charged I always keep it in my bag and you, you can't go in my bag, hon. I'm probably going to end up putting this in my uh, pot when I'm done here. And, oh, I almost forgot about my life straw. This here helps uh, purify water. You can just go right up into the stream and drink out of it. I like to keep one of these in my backpack, too. These are really good. And this is my camping axe you know I have axes home here for chopping wood splitting wood all that cutting down trees a hatchet that I take with me sometimes on short trips but when I'm going up there for quite a while I like to bring this here on there and I just slip this right in here on my backpack and I'm out in the belt so yeah that's all the stuff that I have in my backpack right now. It isn't everything, but it's what I have on me at the moment. So, thank you for tuning in to this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. Isn't that white, Billy? <laughs> and until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.